To demonstrate this issue, we've created a simple app with just a map view inside. Now we want to include the AWS SDK, so we're going to simply search for it on Google and go to the official website. If you look to the left of the address bar, it even says secure, so there should be no reason to worry about anything, right? Once it's done downloading, we're going to decompress it and drag all the frameworks into our project. The requirement for this attack to work is that the attacker is in the same network as you at the time of the download. This is the case when installing SDKs at conferences, hotels, or coffee shops, even if the Wi-Fi is password protected. All that's left to do now is to import the framework into our code to be vulnerable. An attacker can insert any malicious code into the SDK. For example, they can show a phishing pop-up to steal a user's Apple ID credentials. Now we rebuilt the app, ran it again in the simulator, and boom. You can see it is showing a phishing pop-up. The password the user enters is visible in the console here, but in a real attack, the attacker would send this to a remote server under their control.